Are you excited to be in Mexico? I am. Keon, are you excited to be in Mexico? Yes. Oh, yes. Jeeps. We're gonna drive Jeeps today. Um, we're ready to go. We are going to be in a caravan in the front or the back of the caravan um, so we can film and it's going to be real cool. Um, it's just going to be us and Frank and Keon and we're going to have a great time. So, as I said, vamanos. This is our ride for today. It's pretty dope. I'm also wearing a yellow bikini, so I feel like that's pretty appropriate. Jeep Wrangler. So we made it to Jade Caverns. Um, it's about a 45 minute ride, at least, um, to get here. Um, cool, adventurous. We were in this lovely Jeep Wrangler right behind me. Um, we had AC. I feel like at some point we'll pop the top, right? Yeah, we'll pop the top. That would be nice. Get the more authentic experience, but it's definitely, we're trying to like avoid the sun as much as possible, I think, for now. And um, until I get in the water, I don't want the sun beating down on me. Um, but yeah, we made it here, so. The whole island, we find a lot of sinkholes. Basically, that's a hole with fresh water, all right? Uh, most of, of the sinkholes on top, that's fresh water. In the middle, tons brackish water, and far down there, it has tunnels which are connected with the ocean. So I'm just going to show you. I'm afraid to hide. I never, I did once, but I never do it again. All right? <laughs> so let me go grab my... Uh, that's promising. <laughs> I did it once. Never. But I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> All right. So fun fact, um, you can also take ATVs to here. Um, and there's a giant tour, it looks like. Here, there's all, they're all lined up over there. So right down this path here is where we're going to go. Um, it sounds like everyone's having a great time down there. Yeah. So hopefully we will do the same. Hope so. Hope so. <laughs> Some really cool photo place over here. Photo op. Okay, you may be smiling the photo. One, two, three. Uh -oh. Whew. We jumping off of cliffs? When I'm down, you pick me up. You and me, we shine it dust. And we won't ever get enough. They don't know. They don't know. In your eyes, I put my trust. You're my all-time favorite drug Let them keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know Jump from here? Yeah, that you, that it, you don't think so? No. That looks really high. <laughs> okay, this is one of the spots that, where the people come and the, the brave people, the wild people like to jump. Like I told you, I did once from the top and I never did it again. I like to swim in this water but not to jump from that high. Okay? We got a brave soul. No, oh, you're fine. Okay, Glenn, hang on. Hey. Hey. No. That made that made my stomach go up and I didn't even jump. Of course, when you come out of the water, the sulfur smell is gonna be like 
more than it is right now. But let me tell you something, swimming in this water is like to be in a natural spa area. What's the difference between those? The music and the cream and the smell. That's the difference. Why? Well, because this water, uh, it's like I told you before, it's full of minerals. When you go to a nice spot to clean out your skin, what happened there? So they clean out with minerals and calcium. But of course they use kind of cream, they use some like aromatic things and everything. So that's the difference. Look at that. Yeah, look at all the bags. We're supposed to be quiet in here. Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of high. <laughs> the other one's not so high. But that one's She's going to do it. She's going to do it. She's going to do it. <laughs> Count down from five. She's going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to give you a couple of balls. Three. Go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna do it. Alright guys, so that was a very cool first stop. Um, you can't see me now. There we go. Um, very cool first stop at Jade Caverns. A few people got in the water, like I said, I totally would've if it didn't smell like sulfur. Um, but, our next stop is the Tequila Factory. So we are gonna go taste some tequila, have a lovely time there. Um, but first we have to get out of this. So the bumpy ride going in is gonna be a bumpy ride coming back. Good thing I'm not driving. I even, in mainland, I have caves. Mm -hmm. Like you really don't fit. Wow. And it's like, uh, I mean it's just a flash. Wow. Yeah. And with the, with the guy just to like turn off, it's just dark. <laughs> And we made it to the tequila factory. This tequila museum here right in this little town. It's really cute. But we're a little late because we were flying the drone, so I can hear them talking about things. Okay guys, look, today we're not gonna try not silver tequila, not gold tequila, because remember there's gonna be more for mixes or for cocktails. Today I'm gonna share with you the best that I have, which is gonna be of course the seven and the 12 years. We're gonna start with the seven years age tequila. And actually, this is one of my favorites because you can use this tequila basically for everything. We say, salud. 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 We don't eat the lime and salt, right? Very Ooh. smooth. We don't feel that burn sensation. Mm. That is, <laughs> that's dangerous. Right? Okay, like if you like the seven years, I hope that you wanna love my baby. Twelve years. Okay? Remember, this is gonna be just to celebrate special occasions, okay? Mm -hmm. That's why I call to this tequila the A, B, C, and D tequila. Twelve years uh, tequila. Exactly, okay? So you can imagine if this one gives us a chance for the Sony and the same kind of tequila, of course, we're gonna expect like the tequila that we're gonna Sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not even like a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from now on, you want to say? Yes. Yes. What? Thank you. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. One more time. Salud. Tequila is going to be like between Baileys and Kalua, but much better. Mm, okay. And you know what we say about this one? We say like one shot of this and you're gonna wake up like a Mexican. Arriba! Arriba. Abajo! Abajo! Abajo. Pa el centro! Pa el centro! Pa dentro! Pa dentro! Salud! Salud! Well, that was quite delightful. <laughs> Um, we are going to walk, I guess, over here by the Mayan Temple is what they said um, before we get back in the Jeeps, but um, that tequila was so good. Unfortunately, we did not buy any because we keep buying all of this liquor, um, saying that we're going to have all these parties and have other people drink it, but nobody 
comes over and we don't really invite people um, all the way to our house because it's far from all of our friends. Um, so I guess we should probably do that more often. An excuse to get rid of all of the liquor. Um, but yeah, we just, maybe by the end of the day, we'll go ahead and purchase some extra tequila. Uh, on the top, I don't know if they use maybe oh, like yeah, a crystal or something, and they just reflect the sunshine. Oh, that's so cool. See? Like, I can see you on the other side. So cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Someone has narco. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Very nice chairs. So nice. Yeah, look at all the flowers and so colorful and yeah, that's real nice. He was saying they meet here every week still, so that's really nice. Lovely, lovely church. We made it to our snorkeling spot. Snorkel, snorkel. snorkel, snorkel. <laughs> what was this called? It looked like Tor Tortugas Beach Club or something. Sounds that sound like for that. that sound right? Um, so we just parked our jeeps here. We're gonna walk. Oh look at that Tortugas <laughs> Beach Club. I'm so good. Tortuga. We're gonna walk over to the beach. Ooh, and get massages. Lots of shopping. What? Turtles. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> Bunch of turtles. Turtles squirt a little life. <laughs> Tortugas. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, this is the place like I told you where we have some snorkeling equipment included. And if any of you are hungry or want to drink something, this is the place. All right. The guys are gonna offer you the menu. They have some very delicious food over here and very good drinks. All right. Do you guys are hungry? You guys want to eat now and then snorkeling? Or you guys want to snorkel in first and then eat. That one. This is nice. I like this little area with the swing. Swing and eat at the same time. All right, guys, we are going to go snorkeling. The water looks really clear. There are some waves, so it might be a little harder to swim, but I'm sure they'll have life jackets and stuff. Um, fun fact. One of uh, the members in our group gave us a GoPro to use and Cullen didn't check it and doesn't have batteries in it. So we probably won't film in the water, but Cullen's getting some drone shots and we'll film around the water. So you'll get to see what this looks like, but it's a very nice place. Um, we're, we're gonna go snorkel now though. Guys, that was so nice. Um, the water, like I said earlier, is a little wavy. So it was a little difficult to swim out, but once we were out there, you couldn't really tell. Um, water super clear, saw lots of fish. But we've worked up our appetite. We're gonna get some food. Um, fajitas, tacos, guacamole, drinks, you name it. We're gonna have it. Um, we're in Mexico, might as well live it up. And um, show you guys what they offer here at the bar and restaurant. So. I'm excited, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, the sizzle. Okay, what are you doing? Thank you. Be careful, the place is cut. If you compliment, please try some people's value. Ooh. 
Thank you. I'll, I'll pass on that, but um, you can for sure eat the spicy salad. Okay. Thank you. Cool. So that's the spicy stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh, and we got guac coming. Come on here. Cilantro, tomato, onion, all that, spicy, salt, pepper. Olive oil? Yeah, yeah. More like juice. <laughs> Good. I trust his flavors. Guys, look, look at all these drinks they just brought out to us. I don't even know what any of this is. Yeah. But they so they put it down in front of us and they didn't tell us what it was. Um, but we do have chicken tacos, we have fajitas, we have quesadillas. He just made us some fresh guac, which looks awesome. And four drinks for three people. So naturally, we only have like 30 minutes left, and we're just gonna eat it all. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. Oh, oh yes. you are very spicy. He yes. likes spicy. Oh, you like more? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to eat first. What should I eat first? No, yeah. no worries. Good luck, John. Yeah. He's like, any time. <laughs> How's the guac? Is that a margarita? Yeah. I have to go around this giant drink. I'm gonna taste, yes. Yep, that's good. All right, well, we got the green drink here. We're just gonna... It's so heavy. How heavy do you think this is? Two pounds, three pounds. There's some melon in there. I'm glad I took a picture of that before you started stirring that. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look the same anymore. Right back to life. That's good. Tastes like raisins to you? Raisin undertones? Yeah. <laughs> What's this one? You said melon? Yeah. Did you get a straw? Alright, I'm gonna eat. It's very good. Look at that. They put cheese in there. Yeah. Uh, I have a freaking cotto. That is so good. I said I have a freaking cotto. That was so good. Um, this is like the perfect food to eat after a long day. Especially snorkeling. You know what I mean? Like, you're out in the water. You're moving around. You're using your flippers. Getting a good burn. My watch thought I was working out. Asked if I wanted to record my workout. Um, and now we get to eat authentic Mexican food. I'm a big fan. You need to take this excursion. This is real fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that? Like habanero sauce? Mm -hmm. This has been a lovely day. I love these swings. I love Cosimo. <laughs> This is our first Cosmo vlog. So we've been to Cosmo a few times, but we've not vlogged it yet. Nope. And right now I'm going to recommend Cosmo tours and excursions. So fun. Um, I'm excited for the rest of our excursions. Too. Two more. One down, two to go. Um, we're getting ready here. It's, well, 3.15 ship time, 2.15 local time. So I don't think we have to be back until 5.30. So we have plenty of time to get back on the ship. Um, but we're about to load up the Jeeps, head back to port, um, and see what happens next. I have nothing planned until dinner. Guys, you will not believe the story we have to tell you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> us sitting down for food. I'm leaving it open. We'll tell you guys at dinner.